we will be announcing the homecoming court and so forth in just a few moments. They just removed the floats from the field. The seniors won the uh, senior division, and the freshmen won the junior division. So uh, congratulations to our senior class and our freshman class on the homecoming float um, competition this year. again to homecoming 2013 at Plummerton High School. Many of you are here and have come back to visit for this homecoming game and we welcome you especially to tonight's homecoming. On behalf of Principal Scott Hammond, the faculty of Plummerton High School. Adrian Quick again running camera for me and uh, we're getting ready to get this homecoming activities underway. Our first attendant is freshman Courtney Pridgen. Representing the freshman class is Ms. Courtney Pridgen. Courtney is the daughter of Tanya Ellen and Jeremy Pridgen of Bruton. She is a member of the FFA. Courtney's a member of the FFA, FBLA, 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 FBLA and a JV cheerleader for one year. She's a member of First Baptist Church of Flomaton Youth Group and likes spending time hunting and fishing and shopping and so forth. She's escorted tonight by Brent Hollinger. Miss Courtney Pridgen. Representing the sophomore class, Miss Carrie Cornegie. Carrie is the daughter of Benny and Benny Cornegie of Flomerton, Mr. and Miss Benny Cornegie of Flomerton, member of SAD, Drama Club, Academic All-Star. She played volleyball for one year and was valedictorian of her class at Pollard. She is escorted tonight by Matt Ledford, son of Merrill and Miss Wanda Ledford, our school lab librarian. So, uh, representing the sophomore class, Miss Carrie Cornegie. Representing the junior class will be Carrie's older sister, Miss Taylor Cornegie. And today is her 17th birthday. Representing the junior class is Miss Taylor Cornegie. Taylor is the daughter of Jimmy and Debbie Cornegie of Flomaton. She is a member of Little Escambia Baptist Church. Taylor played volleyball for two years and softball for one year at FHS. She is a member of the FFA, SAD, and the Drama Club. Escorting Taylor is Stone Lehman. Stone is the grandson of John and Teresa Allen of Flomerton. Representing the junior class, Miss Taylor Carnegie. Next, we'll have three representatives from the senior class. The first will be Miss Peyton Finley. And we'll have uh, three representatives, and then we'll find out who the homecoming queen is. So Peyton Finley, our first senior homecoming attendant. She's the daughter of Greg Finley of Falmerton and Lori Finley of Atmore. She's a member of SAD, the FFA, Skills USA, the FBLA, Drama Club, Leo Club, and student council. She's escorted tonight by Mr. Tyler Smith. Tyler is the son of Roger and Jamie Smith of Flomerton. Representing 
Next representative of the senior class is Miss Morgan Millett. Morgan is the daughter of Candy Shaughnessy of Bruton and Stephen Millett of Spanish Sport. She's a member of Beta Club, Drama Club, Student Council, SAD, and Leo Club. Salutatorian of her class at Pollard McCall and a member of the FHS varsity volleyball team. She's escorted tonight by Ryan Hendrick. Ryan is the son of Richard and Lee Hall of Flomerton. Morgan Millett. Also representing the senior class is Miss Olivia Singleton. Olivia is the daughter of Shannon Singleton and the late Stevie Singleton. Granddaughter of Earl and Rachel Chancery. She's the senior class secretary treasurer and a member of the FHS College Country Team Drama Club. She was Miss FHS 2012 and captain of the Majorettes. Member of Student Council, Beta Club, Leo Club, and Drama Club. She's a member of the Bruton Ballet Company. Oh, Donnie Wayne Brown is her escort. Of course, his dad, Donnie Wayne Sr., and Maria Brown of Flomerton. Olivia Singleton. And now we'll find out who will be the next Flomerton High School homecoming queen. Mr. Danny opening the envelope underneath us. And the third runner-up, or second runner-up, that should be. Second runner-up is Peyton Finley. Peyton is escorted by Tyler Smith, and she's the daughter of Greg Finley and Lori Finley. Congratulations to Peyton, second runner-up, homecoming 2013. And the first runner-up. And the first runner-up, after we announce that, we'll know who the homecoming queen is. So. Mr. Danny having some fun with the kids, but um, this year the first runner-up is Miss Morgan Millett. Mr. Danny's going to drag it a little bit more, but I knew before the game started. But Morgan is the first runner-up, so that means, of course, that Olivia Singleton is the homecoming queen. Of course, Morgan, the daughter of Candy Shaughnessy and Stephen Millett. And all three of these girls very deserving of the honor tonight. Ryan Hendrick escorting Morgan. And now we have homecoming queen 2013, Miss Olivia Singleton. <laughs> Olivia is going to be crowned by our principal, Mr. Scott Hammond. And last year's homecoming queen, Miss KJ, Miss Kayla KJ Head, who was crowned last year homecoming queen, um, and she'll be doing. Actually, Coach Hammond will be the one that will actually place the crown on Olivia's head. Another great tradition here at Flomerton. Actually, KJ is going to crown her tonight. And homecoming queen 2012, Miss KJ Head. Congratulations to Olivia. Homecoming Queen, 2013. 
with Olivia Singleton. Please remain standing for a moment of silence, followed by our national anthem. Our national anthem, of course, played by our Fulton High School marching band. A moment of silence. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
forth. A lot of these same things are on the booster side as well. But patronize both the quarterback club and the band boosters as they raise money uh, to support our students. By the way, the uh, band boosters tonight and tonight only, they are having one of those matching uh, matching nights from Modern Woodman. Modern Woodman is going to match whatever they raise tonight in the concession stand. That's my understanding. So be sure to patronize the band boosters. They'll double their money. Tonight, during this ball game, stop by the band boosters concession stand and buy you something to eat or drink. All proceeds will be matched by Modern Woodman up to $2,500. The money will be donated to the Farmers and Band Boosters for band equipment, so be sure to uh, take care of that. Also, the Band Boosters will be selling funnel cakes, popcorn, snow cones, and other items uh, to raise money for Wyatt Johnson, 18-month-old from Century, who needs a liver transplant. That will be tomorrow from 10 until 3 at Canoe at the Fall Festival. Santa Pictures will be made from 10 to 12. They'll have fun activities for the whole family. They'll have tattoos, games, prizes for adults and kids, bouncy houses, slides, barbecue, pizza, ice cream. Just a good time for everybody, adult and child. So that's tomorrow, the Fall Festival in Canoe from 10 until 3. All right, we're getting used, uh, ready for the start of this game, the last season of the game tonight, last game for several of these seniors. Our captains for tonight for the Flomerton Hurricanes, number one, Levi Carden, number 11, uh, it's uh, Denarius Odom, number 53, Tyler Peebles, and number 10, Trevor White. Also for the Flomerton uh, Hurricanes, number 17, Destin Taylor, number 65, Andrew Quick, and number 57, Taylor Cordell. This will be their last high school football game for these these seven young men that have fought hard for the Hurricanes for many years. Some of them play in four years. A couple of them coming over after transferring here from other schools, but we've had a, a great time with these kids. We've got two Senior uh, cheerleaders, uh, Lindsey White and Micah Brown. And I believe Mr. Uh, Cockrell said he had eight kids in the band who were seniors. So a good group of seniors here. They'll be class of 2014 playing their final high school football game and cheering for their high, final high school game, playing the band for their final game of uh, 2013. Hurricanes uh, didn't have the year we hoped to have, but um, – we have uh, we had the corn toss, and Central Haneyville won and elected to defer, and the Hurricanes will – looks like the Hurricanes will receive the ball. And so Central Lions will get the ball at the beginning of the second half.
So we're getting ready to get this game started, the final game of the 2013 season. And the band will be coming off the field. They're going to play the high fight song to get us off the field. Great crowd here tonight for homecoming. Had a great alumni pep rally. Had several classes represented all the way back from 1958 up to 2008. A bunch of uh, people showed up for the alumni pep rally. And we appreciate the band here at the pregame. They'll be back halftime, of course. These uh, seniors have fought hard for four years. And some of them have seen a lot of success. And it's just been a rough year this year. But I think we'll get a winning, uh, go out on a winning note tonight against the Central Lions. Isn't that right, Eric? Yes, sir. I'd say it's been a really tough year for them, but I really hope they pull this one through being their homecoming game and everything like that. Eric Bosar joining us in the press box with his hat on, looking like, got it looking like he likes it. So we're getting ready to start this game. Back deep for the Hurricanes will be number four, and that is uh, Jamal. Uh, number four is Terrell Flavors. Number two is Jamal Brown, and number one, Levi Cardin. So we're getting ready to get this one underway. Looks like they're going to aim toward Levi, and that's probably not a good idea. Levi's already returned a couple this year, and we'll see if he can't do the same thing again here tonight. Number 55, Daryl Dixon will do the kicking, and he squibs it, and he comes up to uh, Jamel Grace, and he gets it, and he's going to go around the end. He's got a little bit of room, and now he's breaking three. He's across the 50. He's across the 45 to the 40. He's through the 35 to 30. Well, he'll be pulled down just inside the 30-yard line, about the 29-yard line, where the Hurricanes will have it first down and 10. Try to do a little squib kick, and there's a flag on the play. So a flag down early in this game. And it's a holding call against the Kane, so that'll back us up. We'll start down in the hole. Blocking the back is what the call was. Be a 15-yard penalty. Not the way the Hurricanes wanted to start off, but we'll take it. First and 10 from the 46-yard line. Trip Vickery coming out to call the play. Hurricanes had some injuries uh, in the middle of the season. That kind of held us back with several games, but we got a good bunch of uh, – a lot of kids out. And so they're going to give this ball off to the freshman, Jamal Brown. He's going to bust to the outside. He's going to get back to where we were to the 30 and across the 30-yard line to about the 29-yard line. So a first down, good run by Jamal. Jamal, just a freshman. This bunch of freshmen and sophomores are a bunch of athletes, and I think we've got good things ahead for the Hurricanes. Down the line, line. Losing seven seniors. And we'll miss those guys, but we got a lot of good quality athletes. They've got a lot of playing time this year, too. Vickery under center. He's going to give it to Jamal uh, Grace up the middle, uh, Jamel Grace up the middle, and he spins around. He goes out over across the 20 to about the 15. We'll be dragged down, and there'll be another first down for the Flamington Hurricanes. 11 minutes left to go in this one, just underway here. Homecoming 2013. Hurricanes stay in that compact set with two backs in the backfield, Jamel Grace and Jamal Brown. Now they're going to spread out wide. Trevor White will come out wide to the near side. Going to give it to Brown around the end. He's going to follow number 53 right in the middle and trying to strip the ball, but he will not be able to strip the ball, but he only picks up a couple of yards down, actually picks up about five yards. 
to the seven yard line, and it'll be first down or second down and four. It'll be second down and short three. Danny calls it three. I'll go with three also. Second down and three for the Hurricanes. One back in the backfield going to give it off to Jamel. He's going to bust the outside, and he's got enough for the first down and in the end zone for the touchdown for the Flomerton Hurricanes. Jamel Grace carries that in from the seven-yard line for the seven-yard score. The Hurricanes go up six to nothing here early in the first quarter. A minute 45 seconds off the clock. Actually, a minute 46 seconds off the clock. And Jamel Grace carries it in seven yards for the touchdown. Looks like the Hurricanes are going to be going for two. See Levi Carden coming in at back at uh, the tailback position, or one of the tailback positions, and give it to Levi, and he's going to follow the blockers and walk in the end zone for the two-point conversion, and that'll give the Flamington Hurricanes an eight to zero lead. Central had a guy on the wrong side of the field. You see that, Adrian? He was all the way down in the goal line. He's not sure where he's supposed to line up. Now, in fact, he's going to run off the field. Never seen that before in a kickoff. The Hurricanes will line up to kick it off. We'll see how Charlie Brown lines up to kick this one. So we're going to line up to squib it. We've got everybody to the right of Trey Weeks except for Number four, Terrell Flavors. And number 25, Hunter Colley. Looks like he is going to keep get deep and to the left side of the field. That, that guy just falls down with the ball and drops it, picks it up. And he'll be stopped there at about the 18-yard line where it'll be first down and 10 for the Lions. Rained all morning here today, but it cleared up about lunchtime. We're able to get the parade in and uh, got this game going on tonight. It's a little bit chillier than it was this afternoon, but it'll be uh, a beautiful night for football. The field's a little bit wet. We'll see if that affects either team. Lines going out of the shotgun. There's a man in motion. He almost snaps it over his head. Quarterback keeps it. He goes around the end. He's going to pick up a first down. Runs for 10 yards, picks up the first down. Number five, the quarterback, picks up first down yardage. And Jamal Brown was the hurricane standing there when he ran into him and picked up the tackle. Again, had the shotgun formation, three men out. Two to the near side, one to the far side. They send that man in motion again. This time he's going to fake it to him again, run the exact same play, and pick up only nine yards this time. It'll be second down and one. Destin Taylor and Jamal Brown in on the stop there for the Hurricanes. Second down and about one yard to go. See if they run the same play for the third time. Hopefully the Hurricanes will catch on if they run this play again. Now they got a little bit different look. They got trips out to the far side. One man out near to the near side, still in the shotgun. Let's see if he puts this guy in motion nearest to him and runs to this side of the field. Straight. And that's a lateral pass. It goes out of bounds. They call it incomplete. Be third down and one for Central Anyville. Tried to run a little hitch pass out to the wide receiver. 
Canes almost had a man back there to intercept it. Now they have two men in the backfield next to the quarterback in the shotgun. Third down and one. Snap fakes, going to throw a little dump pass off, and they pick up the first down and a little bit more. He's out across the 50. He may take this one to the house. Look like a little block in the back. Levi's got an angle on him. Is he going to catch him? Nope, doesn't catch him. Touchdown for the Lions. Flag back all the way back on the 40-yard line. So this one's going to come back. That's going to be against Central Haneyville. I thought I saw a block in the back. Let's see if the ref saw the one I saw. He did. Block in the back against Central Haneyville. So this one's going to come all the way back to the 40-yard line. It'll still be a first down. But no touchdown for the Lions. Be first and ten from the 48. I think that block was against Levi. Looked like he got a little push on him and held Levi up just enough for the running back to get out and be able to get right past Levi and into the end zone. But all comes back after a block in the back. So 8:34 left to go here in the first quarter. You can tell both bands a little bit loud. Central Haneyville's band real loud with the drums, and so. Hope we can hear me over the drums. Having a little bit of trouble lining up here. Number 34 finally gets on where he wants. Quarterback snaps in the shotgun. They run that same play out again, and it is met for a one-yard loss. Who's tackled? Donovan Floyd on the tackle, and he lost... Two yards. Flums and Hurricanes are going to call a timeout, so we'll take a timeout here. Flumpton leads this one. Eight to nothing. Timeout on the field. Both the class of 1987 is raising funds to purchase a headstone and slap. For one of our own, Scott Raymond, passed away recently, and the graduating class of 1987 is doing it. They're selling t-shirts just inside the front gate. They have some available, or you can order. So please see those folks inside the front gate to buy your Scott Herman Memorial t-shirt. All right, Central Haneyville back out of the Flumpton High School timeout. Coach V having a long discussion with the official during that timeout. I think he's watching a couple of chop blocks. We got a substitution coming in as Nick Morgan comes out and James Benefield goes in to the cornerback position on the far side of the field. Hurricane set, line set, second down and 12. They put that man in motion. They're going to hand it off to him. No, he's going to fake it and follow him by. Runs right by Destin Taylor. But Destin Dahl with a big hit over there. Be third down and about eight. Third and eight. Benfield comes back out. Terrell Flavors goes in for him. We got um, Levi Carden at the strong safety corners, Terrell, Evan, uh, Terrell uh, Flavors, and number two, Jamal Brown. Lineback- outside linebacker, Destin Taylor, and Jamel Grace, inside linebacker, Destin Dahl, and Tyler Peebles. They snapped that one over his head. And was Kane's going to be able to get to it. Nope, but the quarterback gets, and he's going to lose a ton of yards all the way back. Lost about 10 yards on it. It'll be fourth down in a mile and a half. So the central lines, after looking like they have a promising drive there, will punt this away. Be fourth down and 22, looks like. So back deep for the Hurricanes, number four, Terrell Flavors. Terrell had the big turn uh, return against Calhoun County, and he's not going to get a chance on this one. It's going to roll down to the 
20-yard line. It's going to stop right there on the 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Hurricanes from the 20. All right, here come the Hurricanes again. Grace and Cardin in the backfield. Going to give it to Cardin around the left end, and he's going to be stopped there at the 25-yard line, gaining five, second down, and five. So he picks up five yards there on his second carry of the night. First carry was on the two-point conversion. And that was his second carry of the night. So his first official yards. Picks up about five yards. Grayson Cardin again in the backfield. Gives it the first man through Jamel Grayson. He's going to power across the 30-yard line for a first down. It should be first and 10 for the Hurricanes. And they do call first and 10 for the Flumerton Hurricanes. The Canes moving the ball right along against the Central of Haneyville Lions team. Both teams will start basketball season next week. After a good year for a young Hurricanes team. Fake to both backs, and he's going to throw it deep for Trevor White. And it went through his fingertips. Incomplete. A little bit overthrown. I thought Trevor might lay out and be able to get it, but it was just outside his reach. Be second down and 10 for the Hurricanes. Mason Dunsford coming out. Terrell Flavors going in for the Hurricanes. Cardin and Grace again in the backfield. Fake it. He's going to give it to Terrell Flavors around the end. He's out of the doghouse now as he crosses midfield. Guy from behind will catch him at the 42-yard line, but there is a flag on the play. So let's hold and see what this is. Good run by Terrell after not being ready for the play and a block in the back uh, against Hurricanes. It'll be second down and two for the Hurricanes after the long run by to real flavors. Second and two for the Hurricanes. Levi Carden Sr. and sophomore Jamel Grace in the backfield. And give it to Jamel up the middle. That'll pick up the first down and just a little bit more as he goes out over the cross the 40 yard line to so the 43. First down and 10 for the Hurricanes. Hurricanes out at the 42 and a half yard line. Got a man out wide to the near end to the far side. There's going to be a double reverse. And Terrell Flavors comes around the end. He gets back to the line, almost back to the line of scrimmage before being pulled down. So we'll lose a couple of yards on that. It'll be second down and 12 for the Hurricanes. 15, Marcus Flowers on the stop. I don't think we're going to run away from these guys. We're going to have to run through them in order to get away from them. They're very fast. So we're going to have to juke them and get past them. 
Going to bring Terrell Flavors out. Number 16, Mason Dunsford goes back in for the Hurricanes. Right, tight set again. Dunsford and White at tight ends. Second down and 12 yards for the Hurricanes. A flag on the play. Delay a game against the Flamington Hurricanes. So that's going to move it back. Now it's going to be second down and 17 for the Hurricanes. Second down and 17 for the Hurricanes. Again, I give it to Jamel again, the big back. And he's going to get about five or four. I'll give him four yards on that. It's going to be second and 13, or third down and 13. From the 42. Coach still signaling the plays to trip. Two fifty six left to go here in the first quarter. Give it to Levi and he's met in the backfield, but he's jukes one guy before the lines pull him down. That'll be getting fourth down and about fourteen. So the Hurricanes will line up and punt this one away back to the lines. Canes had a little drive moving there and a penalty held us up. Couldn't ever get back in control there after a penalty brought us back and made it second and two. And then we had uh Tried to run a reverse, and that uh, actually we got the first down and tried to run a reverse and lost five yards, then had a um, a delay game penalty, and that got us behind the eight ball. And so now we'll punt it away to Central Lines. Trey Weeks with a good punt. It's going to bounce at the 30 and get past the Central of Haneyville guy. He's going to pick it up at the 15, and he's going to go around – and lose about five yards, and then you'll have the ball there at the 11-yard line. I think he was going to let that one roll down. Coaches hollered for him to pick it up, and he lost three yards after he picked it up. Denarius Odom. Denarius Odom in on the stop for the Hurricanes, along with a lot of other Hurricanes that were down there. 155 left to go in this one, and Central Haneyville has the ball first and 10 from the 12-yard line. Number five, the quarterback comes in uh, with the play. If I had to bet, I'd say he was in the shotgun. Look at there, he's in the shotgun. Last time he was in the shotgun, they snapped it over his head. That'd be another good play if it snap it over his head here. Puts the man in motion. He's going to hand it to him this time instead of following him. He's going to go around the left side. And there's a uh, several canes there waiting on him. Jamel Brown and... Denarius Odom and uh, number 59, I believe that's Newton Lambeth in on that stop. No gain on the play. Second down and 10 for the Lions. Timeout called by the Lions. And while we have this timeout, let us see some of the class years that we have here. We'll do it by five-year increments, okay? First of all, I want to recognize about three guys, and I wish I had all of their names, but from the year 1953, the class of 1953, if you're with us tonight, would you please stand? From 1953, 60 years ago. How about that, folks? Look down to your left. Those three gentlemen. I'll, I'll get everybody's name. I know some of them, but I don't know all three of them. But 1953, how about that? All right, we're back ready to get this game back going. Danny's trying to find out what his classes are represented here on homecoming. It'll be second down and 10 for the Lions. All right, we'll get back to that again next time, man. 
the same formation trips out to the far side one out here to the near side he's going to throw it to the near guy and denarius odom and destin taylor are meeting him there and he's going to lose about six or seven yards on the play It'll be third down in a long 13 or 14 yards i'm gonna call it 14 yards denarius and Destin, both seniors there waiting on that one. We finally recognized that one. So it'll be third down and 14 for the Lions. First quarter about to be over here. 45 seconds left to go. They send trips out, our uh, twin sets out to both sides. Destin's going to go out and help with the uh, coverage on the nearest guy. And there's going to be a flag on the play. And it looks like delay of game, delay of game against Central Haneyville. That'll back them up five more yards. be third down and 19. Or they go half the distance. So it'll be third and 16. They go half the distance to the goal. Be on the five-yard line. 33 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Central Haneyville has the ball third and 16 from the five. Snap is high. The Norris comes in. You get a hand on him. Almost picked off by Jamel Brown, but it gets over his head just out of his hands. So it'll be fourth down and not as fourth and 16 from the five. So I'm guessing that the Lions will most likely punt here with 28 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Terrell Flavors back deep for the Hurricanes. The up safety man will be number one, Levi Carden, and number two, Jamel Brown will be both safety men almost up to the line of scrimmage. Low snap this time. Gets it off. Not a very good punt. We may have even got a hand on it because that one's going to be whistled dead at about the seven-yard line. So only a two-yard only a two-yard kick. It'll be first and goal from the inside the 10-yard line. 24 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. The Canes looking to get on the board one more time before the quarter ends. And the man in motion, going to get Jamel. Jamel's going to follow all the blockers and walk in the end zone for the second time uh, tonight. And that'll be a 14 to nothing lead for the Flomerton Hurricanes setting up for the point after. 14 nothing Hurricanes, 18 seconds left to go, 18 and a half seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Looks like the Hurricanes will go for two again. Oh, yeah, the heavy, strong side. I'm guessing that means probably going to give it to Jamel again here to get the two-point conversion. Send Trevor White out wide to the far side. Levi goes in motion. Whistle is blown. Timeout for the Hurricanes. So timeout before the snap. Canes have one timeout remaining this half. All right, while we've got this timeout, is there anybody here tonight from the class of 1963? Not all these young folks that have their hands up are from 63. We'll let them get through the football talk. Now, anybody here from the class of 63? Anybody? Anybody up there in the stand? Nobody from 63? How about 1968? I know there's somebody here from 68. Oh, yeah. Look up here in front of me, 1968. These are some of the folks that are talking to me about not going down and scared, right? We got a plan for you, too, ladies. 
We got a plan for you just because you wouldn't cheat. All right, it'll be the extra point attempt here for the Hurricanes. Coming out of the timeout, one timeout remaining here. Got three in the backfield this time. They are going to give it to no one. They roll it out and throw it deep and overthrow number 11, Denarius Sodom, in the dark corner of the end zone. So it'll stay 14-0. There's still 13 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Central 0, Flemington 14. Anybody here from the class of 73? 1973, the class of 1973. Anybody? How about 1978? Anybody here from 78? I see two. Down here. Oh, okay, all hiding over in the corner. All right. How about 1983? 1983, class of 1983. Got one down here and a couple on the left end. All right, we'll continue that in a few minutes. All right, Hurricane's getting ready to kick off after Mr. Danny Calls roll, and uh, Trey Weeks will be ready to sit and kick this one deep. 13 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Good deep kick by Trey. He'll back him back all the way up to about the seven-yard line. He's got a little bit of room, but... Number 21 for the Hurricanes will grab a hold of him and pull him down, and that is Nick Morgan on the tackle there for the Hurricanes. It'll be first and 10 for the Lions at the 30-yard line. This will be the last play of the first quarter. There's only four seconds remaining here. I don't think they can snap it twice in four seconds. They give it off to the running back, and he's going to get a few, and he's still on his feet as he runs past Terrell Flavors and then uh, Levi... Carden will get the tackle, but not before they pick up the first down. It'll be first down and 10 for the – it'll be first and 10 for the Lions. We're coming back from the break here at the end of the first quarter, 14-0, Lomonton Hurricanes. Lions will have a first down and 10 at the 43-yard line. Actually, yeah, first and 10, the 43-yard line as we start here in the second quarter of play. Different quarterback in now would be number 34, and that's just a little wildcat formation. He takes a direct snap, and he's got a little bit of room out there, but he's going to run it. Oh, we got away from Jamal, and he's gone. Be a touchdown for the Lions. No flags, so that'll be, make it 14-6 to six as number 34 took the snap at the 42-yard line. So he'll take that one 57 yards for the touchdown. 14-6 Hurricanes here early in the second quarter. Lions going to line up and go for two. They got five back at quarterback again. 
and 34 will come back on. He needs a breather, but he's been back in there at one of the tailback positions. Eight, the other tailback. Run a shift. Going to snap it to 34. He fumbles it. Picks it up. Runs by Destin. Gets a finger on him before he gets outside. And in for the two-point conversion. 14 to 8 now is the score. As Central Honeyville gets on the board here after a 57-yard run by the Lions, number 34, and then he takes the two-point conversion around the left side for the score to make it 14 to 8. 11:47 left to go here in the second half, second quarter. 1988. are ready to kick this one off. And so they'll kick it off for the second time tonight. This one will go over Terrell Flavor's head, but he'll go back and he kicks it now. He picks it up at the three-yard line. And he's got a seam, and that's going to close up on him. He'll get the ball first and 10 at the 20-yard line. That like to cost us big, but Terrell able to recover. And carry the ball back over the 20 yard line. We got a few extra cheerleaders down there as it is homecoming. We got a lot of alumni cheerleaders down on the field. I'm trying to see if I recognize any of these cheerleaders. Haley White, I see her down there. Kelsey Johnson and Audra Tatum. Uh, Taylor White's there. Jamel Grace takes the ball and hits a first down for the Hurricanes as the alumni cheerleaders are on the field. They're going to be leading the uh, Canes in some cheers here. First and ten for the Hurricanes. And give Jamel Grace again. And he's going to carry a couple of lines with him, and he'll pick up about nine yards. Be second down and one as Jamel carries about half the team with him toward the first down marker, but falls short. Be second and one for the Hurricanes. And the Lions call timeout. They'll have one left here in the opening quarter or the second quarter of play here. Second and one for the Hurricanes. Bigger going to give it off to Jamel Grace up in the middle. He's met before he could get back to the line of scrimmage. He's still trying to fight, but he's going to lose about two yards. He'll be third and about four for the Hurricanes. Did get out of the timeout there and be third and four for the Hurricanes. Actually, they give him more than I gave him. He'll be third and two for the Hurricanes. 
in forward progress a lot further than I did. He didn't look like he got back to the line of scrimmage, but they only give Jamel a loss of one on the play. They'll give it to him again. And this time he does cross the 45-yard line. He pick up the first down. Got what he needed for the first down. Jamel's a tough back, and he works hard for every yard. First and ten for the Hurricanes. They give on a fake around to Levi and get rid of this one. Throws it short. Uh, just overthrows Denarius Odom. Denarius kind of got tangled up with his feet there, but it's overthrown. He second down and 10. And Mason Dunsford on a fly route running down the middle of the field, but I don't think Tripp got his feet set enough there to throw it deep. Had Denarius open, but threw it a little bit behind him. So it be second down and 10 for the Hurricanes. And give it Jamel up the middle, and Jamel's going to fight through for about four yards. He's third down and six. Should be third down and five for the Hurricanes. 9.27 left to go here in the first half. Flomerton leads it 14 to eight. Trip Vickery fakes it the first man through, gives it to the second man through, and we'll lose about, well, they're going to get him back to the line of scrimmage. And so it'll be fourth down and five for the Hurricanes. Let's see what Coach Vickery does. May, uh, go for it. Looks like we're going to probably call a timeout here and think about it. They're going to let the clock run down a little bit, and then they're going to call a timeout. So timeout, that'll be the last timeout of the first half. So the Hurricanes call timeout and talk about whether we're going to go for this fourth down play or not. 8.29 left to go here in the half. Great crowd here tonight for homecoming. Of course, start basketball season just in a couple of weeks. Got a new floor in the gymnasium. It looks great. Coach Green, Coach Hammond worked real hard to get that done. And the new floor looks good in the new gym. The old gym floor has been refinished. So we got both gyms ready for basketball. First home game for the Hurricanes will be November the 19th. I believe that is on our schedule to do right here on Play on Sports. My not sure who that game will be, but um, we'll be letting you know in the coming weeks. November 19th, the Tuesday, for the Flamington Hurricanes home opener for basketball season. going to be a great year for the boys' and girls' basketball team, and we'll have a, several games right here live on Play on Sports. So the Hurricanes have elected to punt, or at least they're going to line up to punt. Fourth and five. Central Haneyville not buying it, and they shouldn't. They snap it right in Terrell Flavors. He's got the first down and more as he crosses the 40 to the 35-yard line. It'll be first down and 10. That was Jamal Brown, not Terrell Flavors. My apologies to Jamal as that was snapped right to him. He was the up man, uh, one of the protection blockers, and the Canes sold it and picked up the first down. It'll be first and 10 at the 36-yard line. Hurricanes have scored on two out of their three drives tonight, having to punt one time after penalty stall to drive. We're moving the ball well here again. Put Levi in motion. Got to fake it to him and give it to Jamal, but there's a flag on the field, and I think that's going to be a procedure call against Hurricanes. Uh, 
A legal procedure against the Hurricanes be first down and 15 for the Hurricanes. Hurricane's a little weary, leery of that whistle. Came back to haunt us against Lee, Leroy, but uh, that was a good call there by the official. Here, give it to Jamel Grace up in the middle. He spins and gets a couple more yards. Haneyville trying to strip the ball. Jamel not giving it to him. He's going to pick up about two yards, be second down in about 13. Haneyville trying to strip the ball, and Jamel Grace doing a good job holding on to the ball as he runs the ball hard against this big central of Haneyville Lions team. The Lions 1-9 and nine on the year, but they play hard, and uh, they've been in a couple of ball games, and were able to get their first win in six years this year earlier against Zion Chapel. Zion Chapel going to win this so far this year. They're giving it to Jamel Grace, and he's going to power ahead over the 35-yard line to about the 33-yard line. we third down and about eight. Uh, say third and seven for the Hurricanes. Third and seven for the Hurricanes at the 33-yard line. Mason Dunsford out wide. They're going to do a little dump pass and overthrows everybody. Be fourth down and seven. Denaris, the only one in the backfield there. Wide open, but Tripp just puts a little bit too, too much arm into it. The Canes will go for it here, fourth down and seven. on the 33-yard line. Trevor White sprints out wide to the near side. Going to give it to Terrell Flavors coming around this end. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to cross the 35, to cross the 30, down to about the 28 and be a first down yard. First down there. A couple of hoodlums just came up into the booth up here. Uh, Escort of the homecoming queen, Donnie Brown, and Eric Bosarge come back up into the press press box. We first down and ten for the Hurricanes. Donnie, you looking good tonight in that suit? Thanks, sir. <laughs> what are you recording? The ball game. There's a football game going on out there after they crown the queen. All right, first and ten for the Canes. Give it to Jamel Grace up the middle, and he's following his blockers, and he's busting up through the hole, and he's going to go across the 15 down to about the 13. Be second down and one. Be second and one from the 13. I'll give that to Jamel. No, he kept it around the end. Comes uh, Trip Vickery. He t- picks up the first down. Be first and goal for the Hurricanes. First and goal for the Hurricanes. Hurricanes using a lot of clock here in the first drive of the second quarter for the Hurricanes. White goes out wide to the far side. Put Terrell in motion. Going to give it Jamel up the middle, and he's going to follow the blockers into the end zone for the third time tonight. Touchdown, Flautmanton Hurricanes. It'll be 20 to 8. Jamel Grace finding his home back in the end zone. Going to go for one this time, Coach V. Alexi. Call the kicker out onto the field. And it's 14 to 8, and here comes Trey Weeks to attempt the extra point. And 
Jamel Grace picks up eight yards on the touchdown that time. Give the Hurricanes a 28 lead and hold by Levi Carden. The kick is wide and no good. It remain 28 here in the second quarter. Folks, let me take this opportunity to recognize those gentlemen from the 1953 class. 1953 class. Gentlemen, if y'all will stand again down front on the left end. Our class of 1953, if y'all will stand again, are y'all still here? There were four, I believe. Mr. Billy Turner, Mr. Thomas Arrington, Mr. Sammy White, and Mr. Glenn Jerkins. How about a big hand for the class of 1953? 60 years. I recognize in the class of 1953, six year, 60 years, four of that uh, year's football team. Has a kickoff by Trey Weeks, and he's kicking that one deep, and the line picks it up at the 11-yard line. Good hit there. And he's going to slide down at the 25-yard line. It'll be first and 10 right there for the Lions. So the ground calls the tackle there for the Lions. 25-yard line. First first and 10 for the Lions. Trips out wide to the far side. Single man out here to the near side. And great play by Destin Taylor. He was going to throw that little screen pass. Destin went out there and blocked it off. So second down and nine. He wasn't going to throw it to Destin, but that's the only man between. He was the man between him and the guy that wanted he wanted to throw it to. But he did pick up a couple of yards. It'll be second down and seven. Gagliano there on the stop. Big Matt Gagliano, Jr., for the Flomerton Hurricanes in on the stop. And freshman Dustin Daw in on the stop. Also linebacker in the middle there, Mr. Dustin Daw. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the coming years here in the Flomerton Hurricanes. Great play by Dustin Taylor, though, to jump out there and cover up that little screen pass. They're going to try it again. Dustin's out there again. He's a little bit slower on the draw that time, and he's going to run by everybody, but get knocked out of bounds. Did he get close enough to the first down? They're going to mark him down at the 30-yard line, so he's going to be well short. I thought he got a little bit further, but he's a lot closer than I am. be third down and four for the Hurricanes, uh, for the Lions, actually. Third and four, 346 left to go here in the half. And about four for the Lions 30-yard line. Destin doing a good job reading that screen pass, but just a step or two behind him that time, the guy was able to catch it. 34 was able to catch it and get outside again. They're going to run trips. Uh, they're going to run twins to each side. And 34 can't decide where he's going to line up, and he finally settles on the backfield. And a flag on the field be a delay of game. Be third down and nine for the Lions now. After taking too much time, be third down and nine for the Lions. Play clocks in both end zones, and they're working good tonight. And the back judge is doing a good job making that call. He's called it twice for the Lions and twice for the Hurricanes to lay of games tonight. And so the quarterback and the coach got to keep an eye on that play clock. 34 is wide out near side. One of the twins out to this side. They're going to try to throw it over the middle to him. And he had his hand on it and just overthrown me. Fourth down and nine. Stamples is number 39 at 34, and he is a force to be reckoned with here for the Lions. So it'll be fourth down and nine for the Lions. Looks like they're lining up to punt. Lions not bringing very many extra players on their sidelines. Looks like they have. 
nine extra players, so they have a total of 18 on the team. That's hard if you have very many guys get hurt. That's a low snap, but he picks up, makes a great punt this time after having that three-yard punt last time. And Trello just back away, and they'll down it for us at the 35-yard line. The first and 10 for the Flumington Hurricanes at the 36-yard line with 327 left to go in the first half. Recognize that big offensive line for the Hurricanes where we've got time. 55 is Cade Vickery. 57 is Taylor Cordell. 59, Newt Lambeth. 51 is Ryan Gagliano. Ryan, just a freshman, a big guy on the inside. And then you got number 11, Denarius Odom. And number 4, Terrell Flavors. Number 22, Jamel Grace. Number 1, Levi Card. Number 10, Trevor White. And, of course, quarterback is... Trip Vickery. I'm going to give that off to Jamel up the middle. Jamel's going to pick up about eight. And he's not getting up. So we're going to have a timeout here, an injury timeout. Not sure what happened with Jamel. But he picks up about six on the play. So he's it down at four after the Hurricanes see about this injured player. Jamel's able to get up, and he'll be able to walk off the field on his own power. I don't know if somebody stepped on his leg, it kind of looked like that's what happened to me. And it looks like the Hurricanes will have the ball second and four from the 43-yard line as Jamel walks off the field under his own power. But we're going to bring in number two. Jamal, Jamal Brown in to replace Jamal, and he's a lot smaller than Jamal, but a little bit faster, so we got some, some more speed on the field, but lost our big back for right now. See if we can't figure out what's going on with Jamal. Maybe he can get back in the games. Second and four for the Hurricanes. Going to send Mason in motion. Going to be a pass play. A little help out there. He's going to be sacked behind the line. Be third down and 11. Had both of his tailbacks back out there blocking for him. A speed rush by the Lions got past. Was able to get a hit on number seven, Trip Vickery Jr. for the Hurricanes. Third and 11 for the Canes here. Tripp's going to give that off to Jamal. He's going to bounce outside, and he's got a little bit of room here. He's going to cross the 40. If he can get by this guy, he would have got the first down, but he's going to be marked down at the 47-yard line. It is enough for the first down. It is enough for the first down. I never would have thought that was close enough, but it will take it. 10 to 11-yard game. Gain for Jamal Brown. Be first and 10 for the Hurricanes. 156 left to go here in the half. On the jumbo set again. Give it Jamal going the other way. It bounces outside, and he's going to be grabbed up there, but I believe they're going to give him forward progress almost back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second down and 11. One man to beat to get to the outside and have a lot of green grass between him and the end zone, but he didn't get that guy beat, and that guy was able to stop him and pull him down. Jamel coming back into the game now. Maybe not quite as fast as he was a moment ago, but he gets back in the game and Jamal come out. There's second and 11 for the Hurricanes. And give it to Jamel, see if that ankle's back. He does twist on it, but 
They're going to stop him just after a yard pickup, be third down and nine. So picked up two there on the run. Third down and nine for the Hurricanes. 50 seconds left to go here. And they run this funny formation. And they got to snap it with no lineman there. They got to throw it deep to Terrell Flavors, and he's open, but he overthrew him by half a step. Oversteps him by half a step. Overthrows him at, by half a step. Wide open, Terrell Flavors. So it'll be fourth down and nine for the Hurricanes. 35 seconds left to go in the half. Flumington leads this one 21 to 8. Trey Weeks back to punt. Low snap. Trey takes on the hop. He used to that playing baseball. Makes a pretty good hunt, punt. It's going to take a hurricane roll. And a roll down inside the 20 to the 11-yard line where the Hurricanes were down it. 23 seconds left to go. Be first down and 10 for the Lions from the 11-yard line. Number 34 in the Wildcat formation. So I look for him to take it around the far side here after snapping the ball. And he does exactly what I said he was going to do. Everybody comes back to the middle of the field and He's going to be tackled there by Denarius Odom. And I said Matt Gagliano got the stop, and the Lions will call their last time out. A first and ten for the Lions. Fourteen seconds left to go here in the first half. So it'll be one, maybe two more plays. Everybody out of timeouts here in the second half, second quarter. And we have the Wildcat again. Wildcat again for number 34. Sample, I believe, is his name. And he'll take the snap. Oh, this time it looks like he's going to try to throw it. He's going to throw it, and he's got a man he underthrows. Be second down and 10 with nine seconds left to go. Flowers was the intended receiver from Sample. Nine seconds, to go Nine seconds left to go in the half. Second down and ten for the Lions. Sample back deep in the shotgun formation. Trips to the far side. One down here to the near. He's going to try to throw it. He's going to try to throw it deep. Got a man, he almost handed it to Terrell Flavors. And there'll be one second left to go here. In the he almost handed it to Terrell off the tip. Actually, it should be one second left to go. And um, at halftime, the visiting Lions band and the Florida Hurricane Marching Band. And then the Dr. Pepper Challenge. So this will be the last play of the first half. Flumpton leads this one 20 to 8. Sample. Try to throw it. No, he flips down. He slips down, and that'll do it. That'll do it. For the first half here in homecoming, Flumpton leads this one 20 to 8. And 
Sammy J. Cook. Hey, we bring you three. It's going to be Lounge County Public Schools. We're about to tell you about the school. This is Peggy Grant, principal, assistant principal, to Baker, the band in front of the direction of Mr. Hillary Campbell. Drum major, Fantasia Brown, and Jamaica Flowers. You may take the floor.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Principal Scott Hammond and Superintendent Randall Luke, we proudly present for your halftime entertainment the Fulton High School Hurricane Marching Band. The band director is Josh Cocker. The band is under the field direction of drum major Kate Smith, assistant drum major Danny Daly, band captain Sidney McMartin, color guard captain Chelsea Turner, and majorette captain Olivia Singleton. Tonight, the Hurricane Marching Band presents Life in the Fast Lane by the Eagles, Fire by Jimmy Hendrix, Jaguar featuring the drum line, and Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Drum Major Kate Smith, is the band ready? And now, from the high school Hurricane Marching Band.
Dr. Pepper halftime show going on right now. The uh, contestants this year, Sidney McMorrison and Grace Carrier. Grace is leading right now. I think she made two. Sydney's got a ball. I think Grace Carrier may have won a $500 scholarship. Let's see. Indication is... It's Grace Carrier, the winner of a $500 scholarship from Dr. Pepper. So congratulations to Grace. And a thank you to Pepsi-Cola Bottling Company of Abnor. have been doing this several years. And appreciate them bringing the big Dr. Pepper blow-ups and, and uh, giving away that $500 scholarship. We'll get back for the second half in just a moment. Flemington leads this one at halftime, 20 to 8. For those of you who might be slipping out a little early, thanks for coming tonight to Homecoming 2013. We've had a blast. Thank you for coming out and being a part of it. Good to have all the folks from the different classes represented tonight at Homecoming. We look forward to next year. Thanks to Pepsi-Cola Bottling Company and Dr. Pepper for our Dr. Pepper call tonight. They do that every year, and we appreciate that and the war awarding of a scholarship to one of our students. We appreciate what they do for our students in this area. The t-shirts that were tossed earlier by the cheerleaders are sponsored by Subway in Flemington, Watkins Cars and Trucks in Flemington, Flemington Small Engines, Skynet Electric Company and End Zone Athletics. We appreciate those sponsorships of those good looking t shirts that were thrown out to you tonight. Hope that's an extra large. I think I'll have to swap it for an extra large. How about that? I believe there will be a dance following the ball game tonight. A dance for our high schoolers after the ball game. There will also be fifth quarter for our students. That will be at Little Escambia Baptist Church right after the ball game. Folks, when we've got a minute, let me tell you about something really neat. I'd like to recognize Shelby Barnes. I'm not sure where she's at. Shelby, could Shelby hear me wherever she is? Shelby, where are you? I don't know where she's at. Shelby Barnes is an eighth grader at Columbus High School. She's on our cross country team. She competed today in the regional in the 5K run. Danny White talking uh, through the loudspeaker, talking about Shelby Barnes qualifying for state and our first year ever of cross country. So we're very proud of Shelby. She's an eighth grader, and she will be a we're representing Flemington at the state cross country meet coming up next Saturday. And we congratulate Shelby, Coach. Uh, Nathan Kemp has done a great job with the cross country team this year. Um, congratulations to Shelby. She'll do a great job for us in that meet. So here we are in the third quarter. The Canes will get ready to kick it off. And that's going to be caught right there by Terrell Flavors. And it's going to be Flomerton High School football. First down and 10 for the Flemington Hurricanes here in the third quarter. First and 10 for Flemington at the 45-yard line after an onside kick. Good kick by Trey Weeks and caught by Terrell Flavors in the air. 
to purchase the headstone and slab for Scott who passed away recently. You can order, you can purchase what they have, or you can order one. If, yeah, if they get to both man, sets his feet, throws it deep, got a man, and just overthrown over Terrell Flavors. Second down and ten for the Hurricanes. In Sweetwater, T.R. Miller, 13, Sweetwater, 0. Second 10 for the Hurricanes. White out wide to the far side. Going to give it this time to Levi Carden. He follows the blocker. He got one man in front of him, and he bounces outside for the first down and a little bit more out to the 25-yard line. Be first and 10 there for the Hurricanes. First and 10 for the Flemington Hurricanes. Stop by number five for the Lions playing playing safety along with playing quarterback for the Lions. And he makes the stop there to keep Levi at the end zone. But first and 10 from the 25. Levi and Jamel in the backfield. Trevor White out wide to the near side. Going to give it to Levi again. Again, he's going to follow his blocker. And he's got a little room. He's going to make a guy. Oh, oh he, I thought he was going to get outside, but he did not. Got tackled there at the 12-yard line. Be first and 10 again for the 12-yard line. Great run by Levi there, getting 13 yards on the carry. So Levi will check out. Jamal Brown will check in. Eight seconds left to go on the play clock. Seven seconds, six to get it off. Give it to Jamal. He's going to make one guy miss and get tackled inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. Slow whistle on the play that time. But it'll be second down and about seven as Jamal picks up uh, three yards on that, about the 9-yard line. Levi checks back in, Jamal out. Give this time is to Levi Carden again around the end. He's going to be stopped up there, and they're going to wait and blow the whistle after they carry him back 15 yards. But he'll get the line of scrimmage. Actually, he's going to lose a couple. Be third down and nine for the Hurricanes. At about the 11-yard line. That tight formation for the Hurricanes. And a fake, and this time Tripp will keep it, and he'll get, pick up two or three. Across the 10 to about the nine, maybe the eight-yard line, be third, fourth down. And about seven yards. I give him two yards on the carry. Fourth down and seven for the Hurricanes. Fourth and seven for the Hurricanes at the nine-yard line. Coach still signaling the play in. Trip runs the huddle and calls the play. And to hurry up and get this one off. Ten seconds left to go on the play clock. Tight formation again. Two tight ends. Going to give it Jamel Grace up the middle, and he's going to walk almost in. They're calling down at the one-yard line. First and goal at the one-yard line. I thought he was going to get in there on the – Nine-yard run by Jamel Grace up the middle. Maybe first and goal from about the one-foot yard line. One-foot line. We'll bring in the heavy package. Here comes number 44, Donovan Floyd. Number six, Trey Weeks. So we're gonna put Donovan Jamal uh, Jamel in the backfield in front of number one Levi Carden. There's flag on the play. They were gonna give it off to. Levi, but they're going to call a flag. I think it's probably going to be a procedure call against the Hurricanes. Dead ball offsides against the Lions. So it'll move up about three inches, and now it'll be first and three inches. Third and 
First and three inches for the uh, score here. 8.46 left to go in the game, uh, in the third quarter. First and goal from the goal line. Large set in with Jamil and Donovan in front of Levi Carden. They're going to give it to Levi. He's going to follow Jamil. He's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. Canes, and they'll take a 26-8 to lead. So Levi carries that in from the one. We'll give him a one-yard touchdown run there. And the Canes lead this one 26-8. to Going to go for two here, I believe. That tray was out there, so I don't know if we're going for two or one. I didn't see the T come out. So it looks like we're going to be going for two. Same for- formation as the play before. Will they run the exact same play? Or give it to one of the up men. Fake it to both of them. He's got a man open. He throws it to him, and Jamel Grace catches the two-point conversion. So that makes it a 20-point lead, 28-8 to eight here in the third quarter. Great drive that time by the Hurricanes. Of course, started after an onside kick by uh, number six, Trey Weeks, making a great kick. And number four, Terrell Flavors, makes a great catch on the onside kick. And the Canes take over. First and ten. From about the 40-yard line and drive down into the end zone. So it'll be uh, kicking off this time. We'll be number six, Trey Weeks again. Now, if we try an onside kick here, we're going to try to keep it out of the hands of number 34, Sample. Trey's got the ball lined up. Looks like he's going to kick it deep. But you never know with the Hurricanes. So first, another onside kick attempt. It goes through one man's hand. It falls out of his hands, but he does land on top of it. It's barely covered, but it'll be first and ten for the Lions as a cool wind blows into the press box. A lot different from the first game of the season this year. It'll be first and ten for the Lions. See if Sample will stay in at quarterback or they'll put number five back in at quarterback. They'll keep running that wildcat. Looks like they're going to call the Wildcat again. 34 sample is making the call. Here's the winning he makes the call, but then he goes out four, wide, three, sort of wide, to the near side. The lines get lined up. Hurricanes run a man on late. He's going to follow his man. Early whistle that time, second down. And about seven after the run by number five for the Lions. Second and seven for the Lions from the 49-yard line. This time it will be Sample in the backfield in the Wildcat formation. See if he's going to want to pass or he's probably going to run the ball here. He is going to run it out to the wide side. Destin Taylor's out there. He occupies his blocker and holds on to the Hurricanes so he can get some help out there. It'll be third and one. Comes up just short of the first down marker. Be third down and one for the Lions. Weeks and quick on the tackle for the Hurricanes. It'll be third down and one. Seven minutes left to go here in the third quarter. The Lions have the ball third and one at the 44-yard line. Low snap. Destin in the backfield, but I think he did cross the line of scrimmage, and I think he got enough for the first down. And he did get enough for the first down. Be first and ten for the Lions. Good defense that time by the Hurricanes, but it was just third and one. Couldn't catch up to him before he crossed the 
First down marker. Time out on the field, called. They didn't call time out. I don't know what that was about. A little confusion by the referees. I don't know what's happening, but they're going to call something. Not sure what happened. Now the play will get underway, maybe. 34 sample in the shotgun. The trips out to the far side. He's snap it. He's going to run it to the near side. He got a hole. He got a little room. And he's got one man to beat. And that's Terrell Flavors between him and the end zone. And he does not beat him. And he gets in the end zone. So it's now sits 28 to 14 after a touchdown for the Central Haneyville Lions. 28 14. That's the quarterback keeper. Takes it in from about 44 yards out. The Lions will go for two again. Got the first one. The sample takes the snap. Going to follow his blockers out to the far side. They're going to get in the end zone. It'll be 28 to 16. Hurricane's still in the lead. Lions get on the board for the second time on this big, long run by Sample. Both runs over 40 yards for Sample to get the touchdown. Hey, folks, let me tell you about our cheerleaders. I didn't even introduce our cheerleaders tonight. Got busy with all the homecoming stuff. Ladies, you ready? Our 2013 14 varsity cheerleaders, freshman David Nolan. So the Lions will line up to kick off here, third quarter. Hurricanes lead 28 to 4, 16 now. Sophomore, Olivia Taylor. 5.50 left to go here in the third quarter. Kickoff. Is a good one, and Terrell, that's uh, Terrell uh, Flavors catches it in there, and he's met at the 43-yard line. He'll carry a guy with him over across the 45. It'll be first and 10 there for the Flomington Hurricanes. Grayson Carden in the backfield, wide out wide to the far side. Going to give it to Carden. He's going to follow his blockers over the middle. He's going to bounce outside, cross the 50 and cross the 45, pick up the first down, be first and 10 again for the Flomington Hurricanes after a 10-yard run by Levi Carden. Following his big blockers, 51 for the Hurricanes. Big Ryan Gagliano, that freshman, he's a big guy. He's 245. And he's over six feet tall. He's probably about 6'2", 6'3". And he's a load to get behind. And Levi follows him out to the near side and picks up 11 yards for the first down. First and 10 for the Hurricanes at the 45-yard line. They're going to give it to Jamel up middle this time. He's going to run right behind Gagliano. He spins and gets over across the 40 to about the 35. He'll be about a yard short of the first down, be second down and one for the Hurricanes. And it's going to be timeout for the Hurricanes here. Timeout is called by the Hurricanes. The cheerleaders still have some things left over. From the football season that are for sale, homecoming t-shirts. They're available down near the front gate. $12 for short sleeve, $15 for long sleeve. 
MHS 2013 homecoming t-shirt. Down near the front gate. They also have booster badges, tattoos, mustache stickers, pom-poms, pins, shoe palms, programs. Get you a program to take home with you so you'll remember it's homecoming. They are still selling those. So be sure to pick up your t-shirt. Hurricanes come out of the timeout. The, the ball second and one. Brown and Grace in the backfield. Run a little trickeration here. Throw it deep and overthrown. No flag. I'm trying to throw it deep to number eight for the Hurricanes, Trey Dixon. He never had a chance. He was kind of pushed out of bounds there. Be second to be third down and about one. Try to throw the ball deep there to Trey Dixon, but Trey got pushed out of bounds, so he was ineligible. Be third and one, and Jamel gets the first down and a few more as he fights out over the 30 yard line to about the 29. Be first and 10 there for the Hurricanes. Go, Canes. Give to Carden this time around the far side, and he's got a little bit of room. He bounces out there and falls down inside the 25 to about the 22, 24. And get as far as I thought he did. It'll be second down and five. Second five for the Hurricanes. 3:56 left to go here in the third quarter. And give it to Jamel Grace up the middle. He's going to pick up a few down to the 20 yard line. He'll be short of the first down, be third down and two from the 20. Maybe four yards. We'll spot the ball at about the 20 yard line. It's be third and one. Probably got close to the 20 yard line. That's where they mark it down at the 20 yard line. White will come out wide to the near side. Grayson Carden in the backfield. Going to give it this time to Levi Carden. And he uh, tried to stutter step and get past Sample. And he does. And he's going to pick up the first down. Levi Carden on the carry. He's going to pick up the first down. Good job there by Levi to get past Sample to get the first down. Thought he was stopped in the backfield, but he did get over across. Injured player for the Hurricanes. Can't get a number on him yet. Actually, there's an injured line on the field, not a hurricane. Injured lines up. That was sample down, 34 for the Lions. They can't afford to lose him. He's been all over the field, scored both touchdowns for the Lions and got both two-point conversions. So they'll be looking for him to come back on the field, hopefully, in just a moment. First and ten for Flomerton. Give it to Jamel up the middle. 
He'll bounce outside. He's going to cross the 15 to about the 13. So he'll pick up about three or four, maybe five. Be second down and five for the Hurricanes. Second and five for the Hurricanes. 2.29 left to go here in the third quarter. Send Cardin in motion. Fakes going to give to the end of round to number four, Terrell Flavors. He's going to get outside, and he's going to get in the end zone. Yep, touchdown, Hurricanes. Terrell Flavors takes it around the end for about 12 yards for the touchdown on the end of round. Be 34 to 16. Hurricanes. And the lead. And Hurricanes will go for two here. With 2.05 left to go here in the third quarter. Samples on the sidelines and has his pads off. That's not good for the lines. And give it to Carden. He's going to go outside. He's going to get in the end zone for the two-point conversion. It is good. 36-16 here for the Hurricanes with 2.05 remaining here in the third quarter. The Hurricanes will be ready to kick this one off. Trey Weeks ready to kick it off. It's be kicking off from the 40-yard line back deep for the Lions number five. Angling to kick it at an angle. But a great deep kick. Be taken by number 15. He's going to be tackled at the 30-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Lions right there at the 30-yard line. Jamel Grace with the tackle. Called Jamel's name a lot of times tonight. He's having a great year, and this just being his sophomore year. So he's got a great year, and he's got a couple more years for us. So the Hurricanes are starting to do a little bit of substitution. Number five. Number five will come in for the Hurricanes. Tyrus Bailey will kind of check in for the Hurricanes, playing this near side cornerback. Number five back in at quarterback is 34. Is still on sidelines. He does have his shoulder pads back on, so we'll see him back in here in just a moment. Number 15 gets nothing on the carry. In fact, he's going to lose a couple of yards. Be second down and about 11, maybe 12. Second down and 12. And here comes Sample back into the game. Sample comes back into the game with 126 left to go here in the third quarter. The Hurricanes lead by 20. Sample in the backfield with number five, the quarterback. He snaps it. He has a flag, going to be a delay of game. Back him back up five yards, be third, second down and 17. Second down and 17 for the Lions. It's the opposite opposite of the spread offense that we see in college football where 
Everybody runs to the line, no huddle. Both these teams' quarterback runs to the sidelines, get the play, run it into the huddle. So we've had several delay of game penalties here in this game. I'll try to throw it. I'll try to throw it deep. And Tyrus Bailey in there on the coverage. Be third down and 17. Good sportsmanship there that time by number 35, Dustin Dahl, helping number 10 back up. It'll be third down and 17. Levi Cardinal check back in. Number 21, Mace, uh, sorry, Nick Morgan will come out. Levi comes back into the game. Five backfield empty. And the Hurricanes get in the backfield. Number five is going to run it out of the backfield, and he'll spin around into every Hurricane that's on the field. Whistles blow. Be fourth down and 10 or 11. Fourth down and 13. Denarius Odom in on the initial stop. He slings him around right into big number six, Trey Weeks, who's a junior, and uh, makes a good hit, and that's where he stops. So it'll be fourth down and 13. So we drop back Levi Cardin, number four, Terrell Flavors. Dangerous return men for the Hurricane. Number 55 had two good punts and one bad one, and this one's going to be almost blocked as Destin Taylor runs past him. But he'll roll down at the 40-yard line. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Be first and 10 at the, for the Hurricanes when we start the fourth quarter. First and ten for the Hurricanes here at the start of the fourth quarter. We'll give it to Levi Card in his senior year, his last quarter of high school football, and he's going to slip down after picking up three yards. will be second down and seven for the Hurricanes. It feels a little slick tonight after all the rain we got overnight and into this morning. In the middle of the field, if you look at it on the tape, you can see it's a little bit uh, worn down, so – Understand Levi falling there. Second down and six, they'll call it. From the 44 yard line. 44 yard line, they're going to give this time Jamal Brown. He's got plenty of room out to the outside. He picks up a first down and a lot more. He's down across the 30, and he's going to be pulled down at the 25, 24 yard lines. First and 10, as Jamal picks up about 20 yards there on the kick, on the uh, run to the outside. Picks up 30 yards on the carry there by Jamal Brown. Ball down at the 24-yard line. Brown and Grace in the backfield. Get to fake it to Brown and going to throw it out here to the near side. Overthrows. Oh, he overthrew Jamel Grace, and he tipped it. And Trevor White didn't have a chance at it. I don't know if, if uh, Jamel hadn't tipped it. I think Trevor would have caught that one. But anyway, it'll be second down and 10 for the Hurricanes. (laughs) 
<laughs> Give this time Jamal Brown. He bounces out. For a touchdown, and that'll take the Canes up to 42 to 16 here early in the fourth quarter. Freshman Jamal Brown carries that one 25 yards in for the score. Hurricanes will go for two again. Thanks for going to kick the extra. I'll kick the extra point. Destin Dahl will be doing the kicking. You got four seconds to get it off. Three, two, one. Now they got it off and the kick's up, and it's good. I'll be doggone. 43 to 16. Hurricanes run the player on at the last second to get the play in. Dustin Dahl kicks it through the uprights, and it's 43 to 16. One second before it would have been a delay of game. And uh, Dustin Dahl kicks it through. 43-16 is the score here in the first in the fourth quarter. Anxious to see if Coach V will do like he's done in years past and let these seniors run the football here on the last football game. I'd like to see number 65, Andrew Quick, break a long one. I was looking at some video earlier tonight of the class of 2008, and Coach V did that that year. Big Cameron Hawthorne took off running. We got about 15 yards and lost the ball. We had a great run. It looked like he may go all the way. He's a big offensive lineman, but he lost the ball. And I'm, Coach V quit doing it for a while after that, but he had started back. I don't know if he's going to let these big offensive linemen that have never had a chance to run the ball run it here against Central Haneyville or not. But we'll see here in the fourth quarter. Trey Weeks said to kick this ball off here in the, from the 40. Canes lead 43 to 16. Here's the kick. Kicks it deep. 16 will get it at the 17-yard line. He bounces around and gets a little bit of running room before he steps out of bounds at the 34-yard line. It'll be first and 10 there for the Lions. At their own 34-yard line. It'll be Sample in the backfield again now. He's got trips out wide to the far side. Sends his tight end in motion. Now he's going to send his one of his receivers in motion. Everybody's set now. Snap it to, snap, snap it to Sample. And he fumbles the snap, but holds on to it and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Be second down and 10 after the direct snap. Give a loss from one, so it'll be second and 11. Big Matt Gagliano in on the tackle. Actually, Matt Gagliano was not in there, so it had to be number 44, Donovan Floyd, in on tackle. So the Canes starting to do a little substitute, and number big number 52, Naquan Walton, a sophomore, comes in to the game, a big 260-pound interior lineman. Put number five back at quarterback. A snap over his head. That's a block in the back on Destin Taylor, but they don't call it. But a great play by, I believe, Denarius Odom out there. Yep, Denarius doing a great job getting outside there and holding him to a two-yard gain, but it'll be third down and eight. Great job by Denarius. Looked like a block in the back against Diston, but they didn't call it. That's okay. We're up 43 to 16 here, so uh, we're not going to complain. Quarterback keeper, and Denarius will get the sack. Denarius having a great game here on his final high school football game. As he picks up the sack there, and a loss of about four. Be fourth down and 12. So it looks like the Lions are going to punt. They bring big number 55 back in to punt. He's had some good ones. He's had some bad ones. Let's see what this one is. 
One of his best punts of the night was off of a terrible snap, but he picked it up and kicked it long. Another low snap. Destin Taylor's back there, and he blocks it. Destin Taylor blocks it. And the Hurricanes are recovered. Destin Taylor on his last high school football game gets a blocked punt. Great job by Destin. Be first and ten for the Hurricanes. Good job, Destin. A lot of new, more New Jersey's coming in. Number 63 for the Hurricanes checks in. That's Dylan Patterson. He's a freshman. Be on the interior line. Trying to get a look at the other linemen they have out there. As we check in some new guys, Jamel Grayson run off. 71 for the Hurricanes is Nick Shivers. He's out there now. We got number 21, Nick Morgan, in the backfield. They're going to give it to Levi. He's going to follow his big old blockers, and he's going to pick up one, two. That's about it. As, again, the Lions try to strip the ball, but we'll be him a gain of two. It'll be second down and eight for the Hurricanes. See if I can get a good look at who all's in there on the lines. 71. 71 is Nick Shivers. Number 63 is Dylan Patterson. I'll try to get another look at the others. I think the others are our storm. We're going to give it to Nick Morgan, and he's going to pick up positive yardage. He's going to go over across the 20-yard line, so he's going to pick up a few. It'll be third down. And looks like two. Third and two, so a six-yard pickup that time by Nick Morgan. Trevor White will check out. Number 35, Dustin Dahl come in. So we've got Dustin Dahl and Trey Weeks in it tied in. 17 left to go in this one. Nick Morgan, Levi Carden in. Going to give it to Morgan up the middle. Morgan trying to get a first down. Sample tries to pull the ball from him and just flips Nick Morgan. Did he pick up the first down? It's close. He did. First and 10 for the Hurricanes. Good run by Nick. Way to hold on to the football. 14-yard line is continue to substitute kids in. Number 15 for the Hurricanes come in, James Benfield. Got Jamel back in in the backfield. They're going to fake it to him and give it to number 15, Benfield. Benfield's gone. Touchdown, Hurricanes. James Benfield goes around the end. He's a sophomore. He weighs 140 pounds, and he gets in the end zone for, I believe, maybe his first touchdown ever as a Hurricane. First and 10. Oh, that's actually a touchdown for the Hurricanes. So it'll be 49-16 to 16 with 6.39 left to go here in the ball game. Coach V doing a lot of substituting. Still have some interior linemen in there that are starters, but I'm glad to see him hand the ball off to young James Benfield. He carries it in for a touchdown here in this ball game. Another youngster, Dustin Dahl, will be making the kick here. He made his first attempt, but he makes his second attempt. It's 50-16 to 16 as the Hurricanes score again with the extra point. So a sophomore carries it in for the touchdown, and a freshman kicks it through for the extra point. More freshmen and sophomores will be checking in here on the kickoff team. Number 25 for the Hurricanes comes in, Hunter Colley. Hunter is a freshman, and he's on the kickoff team. Number five, Tyrus Bailey, he's a sophomore, checking in on the kickoff team. Also number 18, JT Highnote coming in. And there's uh, Ben Fields still out there, number eight, is Trey Dixon, and he's out there on the kickoff team, too. We may have a few too many on the field. I can't get a count. He kicks it deep and almost out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds, but they didn't blow the whistle. That's okay. We'll take it down 
First and 10 at the 25. Six thirty left to go here in the fourth quarter. More new canes coming in. Number sixty for the Hurricanes, Zach Bruton, who's a sophomore. Number 69, 60, 68, Matt Franklin is a junior. He's checking into the ball game. Trey Dixon will stay out there and play defense. Number forty three, Casey Stedham, a freshman, checking into the ball game. A lot of new faces on this team. There's a lot of young players, good players on this team. Bright future for the Hurricanes. Number five is the quarterback. He is again in the shotgun. He wants to throw. He's got a little time. He throws it deep. And Trey Dixon intercepts the ball. Look at Trey Dixon. Freshman Trey Dixon. Look what I found. First and ten Hurricanes with the interception. (laughs) Trey Dixon. And gets it shoved down by his buddy. Jamel Grace after an interception. First and ten for the Hurricanes. A great way to start a career for the Hurricanes. Number eight, Trey Dixon. Trying to get a look at who all we got out there. Jamel Brown, Jamal Brown will go in. Number four, Terrell Flavors goes in. We have to call timeout. We had too many guys on the field to break the huddle. Coach V wants to get these young guys in, so we're going to use a timeout here to get them all in the game. So 5:36 left to go in the ball game. Trying to get the young guys into the field. That's why we're calling timeout up 50 to 16. <laughs> Number 58, Cameron Armature, using his time to be a water boy here also. He's getting the ball out there. 50 to 16 is the, is the score. We're trying to get all the players in to play here late in this ball game. Number 60, Zach Bruton will check in here on the offensive line. Number 59, Newt Lambeth, who's played the whole game as a, as a junior, and he's going to check out. Looks like that will be all for Trevor White also. His last game as a hurricane, he's checking out also. Number 58 for the Hurricane, Cameron Armature, who's a freshman. He's strapping on his chin strap. Looks like he may be getting ready to go into the game also. So Patterson's in there, number 71. Nick Shivers is in there. we got two seniors in there. One of them is Levi Carden, who's played a little bit of quarterback, going to play quarterback here. For the Hurricanes, he hands it off to Nick Morgan. Nick's going to bounce outside and pick up two or three, maybe four, coming out of the timeout. It'll be second down. And about six. I heard Coach V say earlier in the year that Levi was his quarterback when he was coaching these boys in Pee Wee many years ago. So Levi returning to the position for his last game with Coach V here in the last few minutes. Five minutes left to go in the game, and Levi... Maybe the only senior letting up Taylor Cordell still out there. So two seniors still on the field right now. Got Morgan and Brown in the backfield. He's going to give it to Brown around the end. He follows his blockers, and he's going to pick up a first down. Jamal Brown picks up the first down. So it'll be first and ten for the Hurricanes. We just try to keep the ball on the ground and run this clock out. Tyrus Bailey will go in. Jamal Brown come out. So Tyrus will go in at running back. We played the year pretty much without a backup quarterback. Uh, Wanting to get our starters out, but uh, Levi is our backup quarterback as uh, Hayden Hammond, who had been the, uh, the backup quarterback, suffered a concussion last week. So we're going to give it to Tyrus, and he's going to go out to the outside. He's got a lot of speed, and he's across the 30. He's across the 20 to the 15. He's still in bounds to the 5 and knocked out of bounds at about the 2-yard line. Tyrus Bailey, freshman. Actually, Tyrus, I believe, is a sophomore. And he'll have the – Canes will have it first and goal at about the 2-yard line. A great run that time by Tyrus. First and goal for the Hurricanes. First and goal at the two yard Sophomore. Line. Sophomore. 
helping out our radio buddies. Hurricanes called another timeout, trying to get these young players in, let them get a chance to play. We first and goal, with 3:48 left to go here in the ball game. Had to hold, pull out the roster. Coach is kind of keeping an eye behind them, trying to make sure that the boys don't have the water coolers, trying to get them. It's a cool night here in Flumerton. Coach V trying to teach the young guys how to run this next play. V first and goal from the two after a great run by Tyrus Bailey. That's the Hurricanes' last time out, and so we won't be able to – we're wanting to stop the clock here again. Hurricanes have the ball first and goal from about the almost the one yard line, well, two yard line. Trying to get a look at all the numbers that will be going in here. Tyrus Bailey will be staying in at one of the backs. Number 21, Nick Morgan will be the other back. Both of those guys, sophomores. Number 15, James Benefield, also a sophomore in there. Taylor Cordell still in at center. Number one, Levi Carden still in there at quarterback. Number 53, Tyler Peebles also a senior still in there. And then we got a lot of young players in in the other places. We're just going to take a knee here. We'll run the clock down as much as we can here. So it'll be second down and go after the Canes take a knee. New Coach Smith gets a bath. Coach Smith? Yeah. Gets, gets the Gatorade bath by the seniors. They really enjoy Coach Smith this year, our defensive coordinator, and and uh, he's had a good time this year and been a great asset to our team. Made a big difference in these boys' lives. And, and uh, looks like Destin and – Destin and Denarius hit him again. I said Coach V with the Gatorade bath as it goes to third down and goal now. So we take another knee. So I don't know if we're going to – I guess we'll take a fourth knee. I guess we'll take a fourth knee now. Or actually, a third knee. It's just third and goal. And our 42 also checks in for the Hurricanes. That's Aaron Morton. He's a freshman. And that'll be fourth and goal for the Hurricanes. One fifty-two left to go as the clock keeps... Go show all the way down. <laughs> all right, fourth and goal for the Hurricanes. 128 left to go. Coach V going to call for the victory formation one more time, and then Central Haneyville will get the ball back here. Leroy also is joining Leroy still down, way down by themselves on the other side of the field. 115 left to go here in the ball game, and the defense will run back out on the field as Central Mahaneyville will take over. Great classy move there by the Flomerton Hurricane coaches to take a knee four times inside the 10-yard line. So we first and 10 for the Lions. More guys checking in. Number 18 for the Hurricanes checking in on defense. J.J. High note. It's been a long year for these Hurricanes. Got a lot of guys still in straight close. Andrew Cash over here on crutches, broken leg. Uh, Hurricanes 
Matt Franklin running in late into the game. Get Coach Leroy Steele with the ice bucket. I think that finally ends out the last ice bucket. And the Lions take a knee also. So this is going to end with a 50-16 to 16 victory here at homecoming for the Hurricanes. Great game played by the Hurricanes. After a long season, the Hurricanes will improve to 4-6 and six on the year. The Lions will fall to 1-9 and nine after another long year for the Lions. Much improved team. But that's going to do it. One more snap ought to do this one. As number 71 checks in for the Hurricanes. Nick Shivers on defense. And the Lions will take one more snap. And they'll put it on. Actually, they're not going to have to take another snap. There's enough time on the play clock. That's going to call this one the final score here. Flomerton wins this one. 50 to 16 at homecoming 2013. It's been a lot of fun this year as the Flomerton Hurricanes. The first year we've done it here on Play on Sports. All the coaches taking a uh, ice bath. And the Flomerton Hurricanes win this one at homecoming 50 to 16. Thank you for joining us here on Play on Sports.